Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Mean Streets and Howling Cat. Hear that? Yeah. Ah, uh, cat. No, you don't. No. No, 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 no. Hush. She won't hush, but hey. Okay, I am back where I left off. This time without trying to annoy the monster. Ape. Whatever. Let's see. Let's look at the straps. Nope. Okay. Control of primate behavior through microchip microchip technology, huh? We get the book. It might come in useful. Hmm. Since we're not in a hurry at the moment. No. Nope. Would like to know what that is. Huh. No, it's broken, huh? We get them? Okay. No, I can't get that. What about the table lamp? Look. No. Got a key. Hmm. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna get out of that. Let's not walk next to the big ape. He's already gotten to kill us twice. Ah, I don't have the key yet, huh? Apparently I need to find that pass card. No. Move. We can pawn it if we have to. I wonder if we could open this one over here. I think it was over here. Let's look. Didn't help much, but we'll take it. Hmm. So not much here, really. It's kind of disappointing. We need a ten-foot pole or something similar to that. So we exit. Well, I am just about out of leads. So, hmm, I wonder. No, I need to call somebody. Time to talk with the informant. 
What do you need, Murphy? Not very friendly, are you? Here, let's see. Who do we not have in... F John Klaus. He seems important. What's it worth? What's it worth? About 500. It's worth more. It's worth more. Okay. 100? Look for my facts. Hey, the magic number. Well, let's see. We just have to wait for the time, don't we? So she did know something about John Close. Well, I'm waiting. And I have to bug you again and t ask you about Sonny Fletcher, because I don't know anything about him. And Robert Knott. Darn it, I have to pay you for this information. What do you need, Murphy? What about Sonny Fletcher? Make me an offer. Okay. Five hundred? No deal. Yeah, six hundred. No deal. No. Okay, um. No deal. No. No deal. Why is this so expensive? No deal. How much do you want? Look for my facts. <sighs> Darn it. A thousand more bucks down the drain to get info. Two forty. Yeesh. Sorry, can't help you. No, huh? Oh, let's see. J. Saint. Make me an offer. Okay. No deal. Okay. Look for my facts. Well, uh, you might have taken less, huh? Okay. So, let's get out of this. Dolores Lightbody may know where to find John Klaus. Oh, that's... That's actually useful. So let's go talk to Dolores, shall we? And en route, we should get an another pair of faxes. I hope. I can't believe you charged me that much money. Dang it. I thought we had a friendly relationship, but I guess not. Yeesh. Hope I don't have to keep up this thing, this whole bribe system throughout the rest of the series. I don't remember it being that prevalent. Could be wrong, though. I mean, we do not have unlimited money to work with. You gave me the info on J. St. Gideon, and you gave me info on Sonny Fletcher. There's my facts. Sonny Fletcher stays at some rundown apartment in L.A. D-170. Visited you, visited you... Need that and da, da. have not visited Gideon Enterprises yet. Have not visited Frank Shimming. Should have visited them first. Okay. Incoming facts. J. St. Gideon's Beverly Hills address. 
3891. So we have not visited them yet, and we will eventually. Let's go ahead and fill out. Let's go ahead and follow up on John Klaus here. Just because it makes more sense to follow up on him. I mean, granted, the other two names there were, you know, worthless, but hey, why not? Maybe John Klaus will be a little bit more helpful. Oh well. We've now got two pages of notes. Oh man. Well, someone else used to date Dolores Lightbody. Would have been nice if she'd have said that, but then again, why should anyone reveal their personal love life to a uh, random private investigator? Oh, man. Okay, <clears throat> Dolores, talk to me. Yeah, we've seen that. Da -da 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 Bum bum, John Klaus. And the tears come up. Carl and John Klaus were partners once. I was dating John at the time, but when I met Carl, I fell head over heels in love with the little cutie. When I told John, he flew into a rage and vowed never to work with Carl again. I see him from time to time, but lately he's been acting very strange. He believes he is in danger. He's hiding out in Reno, Nevada right now. Use... Seven zero one two. That is very helpful, Dolores. And let's see, just so we can follow up on this. The seven zero one one two. <sighs> it's late, and I'm yawning. I may cut the video. In fact, I know I will. When I come back, we will be ready to talk to uh, Mr. John Klaus. So until then... So until then, take care everybody. See you next time.